Good morning and welcome to Kids Town Online. We are so glad that you've joined us this morning. And today is a special day because today is Easter. Today we're celebrating Easter Sunday and we are so glad that you've decided to do it with us. Well, we're going to get started and right before we do, we're going to do some wake up good morning stretches. But first, so we were all just asleep a while ago, and I've been showing you pictures of sleeping animals in the weeks before, and I want to show you a couple today. So here we go. Here's our first one. Oh, look. It's a bunny. It's a sleeping bunny. Anybody out there have a bunny for a pet? All right, here we go. Now our next picture. Check it out. Ooh, that is a giraffe, and he is asleep. But I've never seen a giraffe sleep like that. Ooh. All right, here we go, you ready? Our next one. Now this isn't an animal, this is actually a cartoon, but I was thinking about counting sheep, like when we're asleep, you're trying to go to sleep, sometimes you count sheep, and you know what? We were all in the bed not too long ago. And finally, our last picture for this morning. You ready? Let's see. Oh yeah, you're right. It's a baby. Oh, I love pictures of sleeping babies. And you know what? We were all asleep just a while ago, but I'm glad we're here today. I'm glad we're together. So we're going to get started. So go ahead and start shaking it out. If you haven't stood up yet, stand up. Shake your arms, shake your legs. We are going to get ready for some great worship together. So here we go. Our first thing is this. We are going to stretch up for five seconds. And when you stretch, guys, I want you to reach as tall as you can. All right? Ready, set, stretch. Oh, one. Two, three, four, five. Oh, okay, bring it down. Oh, that was a good stretch. Now we're gonna try to reach down and touch our toes. We're gonna count to five. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, woo. All right, now that's some good stretching, guys. Now let's see our next one. Oh, yes. We are gonna take a super big, awesome, deep breath. So, ready, set, oh wait, 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 sorry. We're gonna take a deep breath and hold it for five seconds, okay? Ready, set, go. <gasps> wow, guys, what a great job, woo! Man, I bet you guys are ready for worship today. It's gonna be a great morning and a great Easter day. So we're going to start off with our song called Hosanna. Now we sang that song the last two weeks. You know it. You know that Hosanna means praise the Lord. So everybody get ready to sing Hosanna.
Wow, guys, great singing. And what a wonderful day to sing that song because we are praising the Lord. We are celebrating that Jesus is risen from the grave, and we are so excited about that. Well, guys, we're going to talk real quick about our main idea. You know that our main idea has been the same for the last couple of weeks because I want you to remember it. And not just remember it for one time or two times, but for the rest of your life. And here's our main idea. You ready? God can do anything. You got it? One more time. God can do anything. He can. God can do anything. And we've been learning that as we've been studying the miracles of Jesus. And today is no different. Because let me tell you, Easter is all about God being able to do any kind of miracle. Even come back to life. All right. Well, whew, it's been a fast morning already. Well, guess what? I have a new song for everybody to learn. Okay? It's called, One, Two, Three, Jesus is Alive. And I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is a perfect song for Easter because it talks about that Jesus has come back to life. And it reminds us to celebrate Easter. So here we go. I'm going to give you some motions for the chorus, okay? It says, one, two, three, Jesus is alive. So we're going to go, one, two, three, Jesus is alive, okay? Then our next motion we're going to do that again. One, two, three. Jesus is alive. And then it's going to change words. It's going to say this. It's going to say, He died for you and me. Okay? So when it says He died for you and me, where you go, He died, like on the cross, right? Put our arms out. He died for you and me. Okay? And then what's our next words? Our next one say this. It says, And then, but on day three. So he died for you and me, but on day three, a big three, okay, it says this. It says, Jesus rose again, Jesus is alive. So for Jesus rose again, we're going to go, Jesus rose again, and Jesus is alive. Do you see what I'm doing for Jesus? I'm touching my wrist, right, where the nails may have gone when they put him on the cross, all right? So Jesus is alive. Guys, that is one, two, three, Jesus is Alive. It's a wonderful song for today, and I am so excited to sing it with you. Make sure you sing really loud and do the motions. Here we go.
Great singing, guys, and what a wonderful song, especially on today, Easter Sunday, because you know what? Jesus is alive. Well, guys, we're going to go ahead and look at our scripture. We're talking about Easter today. That's one of the miracles of Jesus, so go ahead and grab your Bibles. I'm going to grab mine. Go ahead and grab yours, but don't worry. I'm going to give you some time, okay? Mine's right back here. Go ahead and grab yours. It might be on the coffee table. It might be on the couch. It might be in your room. Wherever it is, go ahead and grab it. And today we're going to be in the book of Matthew. Oh, you know what? Let me put the scripture up. Boop. There we go. All right, we're going to be in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 1 through 7. The book of Matthew 28, verses 1 through 7. All right, guys, I'm going to give you some more time. Hey, remember, Matthew is the first book in the New Testament. It sure is. And chapter 28 is the last book or the last chapter in that book. It is. It's the end of the book because it's talking about the end of the story for Jesus when he comes back to life. All right, here we go. You ready? Matthew chapter 28, 1 through 7 should be on the screen, and we're going to read it together. If you don't have your Bible, don't worry. Just follow along. It says this. Now, after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb. And behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his clothing white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know that you seek Jesus who was crucified. He is not here. For he has risen, as he said. Come, see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. See, I have told you. Wow! Did you see that? Oh, really, did you read that? In that scripture, it says that Mary came to see Jesus, and when she did, an angel came down out of the sky and was so bright, it was like lightning. And then the guards, they were so afraid, they passed out. They, they, they just it said they fell asleep, but they passed out. They were so afraid. And the angel rolled back the stone, but Jesus wasn't in there. He was already gone. Jesus had already come back to life. And he told Mary, go and tell the disciples. And you know what? That's what we're talking about today. That's why we celebrate Easter. We want everyone to know that Jesus is risen. Wow. Well, guys, I'm going to put my Bible down, and I want us to talk just for a moment about what we've learned about the miracles of Jesus. We've been talking about these for several weeks, and just a reminder, okay? The first thing to know about a miracle is this, is that a miracle is an activity that can only be explained by God's intervention. That means that normal people can't do it. A normal person can't do it. And you know what? Coming back to life, no normal person could do that. But Jesus could, because Jesus, he's not a normal person. He is the son of God. Number two, what can a miracle affect? Well, we know that the Bible records miracles at work in people, in animals, in weather, in space, and life, and death, and war. In fact, miracles can affect anything. Here's the next question. Why do miracles happen? We've talked about this every week. And the best answer we have is that miracles always happen to give glory to God. They do. Miracles always give glory to God. Number four, who can experience a miracle? Hmm, that's a good question. And you know what? Miracles are not reserved for people who love God. Sometimes God uses miracles to reach people who do not know Him or even believe in Him yet. 
You know, there were people who hadn't believed in Jesus. And when he rose from the grave, they changed. They believed in him. And so God uses miracles to share his love and truth with everybody. It doesn't matter who you are. And finally, when do miracles happen? Well, you know what? Only God decides when a miracle happens. And you know, when we ask for a miracle, we ask for God to maybe heal somebody or do something special. Sometimes it doesn't happen. And that doesn't mean that God didn't hear us. God always hears us when, he, when we pray. But it means that it wasn't God's timing and that he has a better plan. Well, guys, those are five things that we're remembering about miracles. And as we celebrate Easter today, I've got a cool video I want to share with you. It's a video about Jesus and Easter from the perspective and told from kids. Check this out. <laughs> what do you like about Easter? Celebrate with your family. Easter hunting for eggs. You get to open them and there's stuff in there. Money and grass. Lots of candy. Who is Jesus? Jesus is like a person God. He is God's son. What does Jesus look like? Long brown hair and a brown beard. And he's got like a robe on. He has this belt, like what karate people wear, I think. Who are the disciples? Twelve chosen followers of Jesus. Simon, Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Thomas, Matthew, James, and Valkyrie, Thaddeus, Simon, Judas, Bartholomew. And they're the good guys. What did Jesus teach? How to pray and that God's real. To always love one another when it's hard. Teaching them about Christmas and Valentine's Day. What kinds of miracles did Jesus do? He turned water into wine. He made five loaves and two fishes spread a long way. He helped people if they were sick. He walked on water. There was a storm and it was all windy and I said, Jesus, Jesus, and then he calmed it down so, so they won't be scared. What would be a really cool miracle for him to do? For me to be a superhero like Batman. Let me ride a shark. Fix the government. What did they eat at the Last Supper? Bread and like some dipping sauce. Take a nugget and french rice and there's the juice. Some vegetables with chocolate on it. Why did some people not like Jesus? That everybody was calling him king. They didn't believe that he was God's son. They thought he would only hang out with the people who had done no sin, but he helped the sinners because they're the ones who needed help. What did those people do to Jesus? There were swords trying to capture him, whipped him, and put a crown of thorns on his head, and made him carry the cross a long way. Put him on a cross and stab him. They hurted his heart. He died on Good Friday. And then somebody put him in a tube that had this big rock over it. What happened on Sunday morning? He grew from the ground. He rose from the dead. What did the disciples do when they saw Jesus? Very afraid. Thought he was a ghost. They saw the scars. They touched him. Jesus, Jesus is alive. And I love him. They were so happy. How do we follow Jesus? Confess our sins. We ask him into our heart by praying. And then he's like in our heart. <laughs> Why did Jesus do all of this? It was all for us because he loves us. He said, I don't want them to be scared. And whenever they're hurt, I want to help. Jesus. Wow, you know, it's, it's really fun to watch that video because I think of some of the things that the boys and girls said that weren't quite right and some of the things that they said that were perfect. Well, guys, before we go on with worship, I would like us to have a word of prayer. So please bow your heads and close your eyes. Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for today. And God, we thank you for Easter and the ability to celebrate your son, Jesus, coming back to life. And Lord, right now we pray for all the people who are sick.
Father, please help them to get better soon. And for all the doctors and the nurses, Lord, we just pray that you would help them to help all the sick people. And God, right now we pray for all of the moms and dads who are taking care of their families. Keep them safe. God, we love you and we thank you. Amen. All right. So we're talking about Easter, and we're talking about what happened after Jesus died on the cross, that he came back to life. So we're looking at Matthew chapter 28. We looked at that part already, and we looked at that scripture. And if we remember a little bit before that, what we find is that, well, Jesus had been betrayed. He had been betrayed by a disciple named Judas, and Judas betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And then, the night that he was taken captive, they came and found him. He was in the Garden of Gethsemane. And they arrested Jesus, and they took him to a court. And when they took him to a court, they accused him of things that he didn't do. Jesus didn't break any laws. Jesus didn't do anything wrong. In fact, Jesus didn't have any sin at all. And they still found him guilty because they lied. And when they lied about Jesus, they sent him to be crucified on the cross. Now to be crucified on the cross, it was a big wooden cross. You may have seen one, it kind of looked like a big T. When they crucified Jesus, they put him on the cross and they made him stay there until he died. And you know, Jesus didn't want to die. I mean, he knew it was going to hurt. Right? But he did. And do you know why? Because he knew that dying on the cross would accomplish, you ready? God's plan. It would bring God glory. That's part of the miracle, is that it would bring God glory. He also knew that when he died on the cross and he would come back to life, he would make a way for everyone's sins to be forgiven if they believe in him. So Jesus died on the cross. And when he died on the cross, they took his body down and they took it to a tomb and they sealed the tomb with a big stone. Scripture says that on the third day, that's the scripture we read this morning, that Mary came and they were coming to look after his body. And when they came, that's when they saw the angel come out of the sky who was so bright like lightning. And he rolled away the stone and the guards fainted. And he said, Jesus isn't here. He is risen. He is alive just the way that he said he would. And you know, this leads me to one of my favorite verses in all of the Bible. It's spoken by Jesus to a person named Nicodemus. And it's John 3, 16. In fact, it's, I have it right here. It's right here on the board right behind me. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. How many of you guys at home know that scripture by heart? I do. And you know what my son does too, and my daughter. And you know what? That is why Jesus died and resurrected. He came back to life. So that when we believe in him, our sins can be forgiven and we can become part of God's family for forever. Well, guys, there are three things I want you to know about Easter Sunday, okay? And about the resurrection of Jesus coming back to life. Number one is this. Jesus kept his promise. He came back to life. He had told the disciples many times that he would die and then come back to life. Now, they didn't understand but Jesus did exactly what he said he was going to do. Well, why is that important? Well, it means that we can be forgiven of our sin, but it also reminds us that Jesus never breaks a promise. He said he was going to come back to life, and you know what? He did. Here's lesson number two. Because Jesus came back to life, we can become part of God's family forever. Let that sink in just for a moment. Because Jesus came back to life, if we believe in him, he will forgive our sins and we can become part of God's family for forever. That means that when we die, we get to go to heaven and stay with him for eternity. 
And that is an amazing miracle in itself. And number three is this. The resurrection of Jesus would be a miracle that would affect everyone. Everyone. Everyone back then when Jesus died and rose from the grave until everybody right now. So that anyone, no matter who they are, no matter what they look like, what country they live in, if they're old or young, if they're big or little, it doesn't matter. Everyone was affected by the resurrection of Jesus by Easter because everyone can believe. Nobody's left out. Anyone who's willing to believe can become part of God's family because of what Jesus did on the cross. Wow. I love Easter, guys, and I hope you do too. So we're going to sing another song. We're going to sing, We Believe. Now, we've sang that before, but I want us to sing it today, remembering as we sing the words, all that it means about what we believe in God and what we believe about Jesus especially as we celebrate Easter. share with you. Let me grab it real quick. I don't know if you have these at your house or if you've ever seen these before, but these are called 
resurrection eggs. And resurrection eggs are Easter eggs, but inside they have little pieces that tell the story of Jesus and Easter. And I'm going to show you in another video what's inside each of these eggs, okay? Awesome, check it out. All right, guys, I'm going to share with you our resurrection eggs, and we'll open these together. So the first egg we have is the blue egg. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Oh, look, it's a little donkey. And the little donkey reminds us of when Jesus came into Jerusalem, and everyone sang Hosanna to him and waved palm branches. Next is we have the pink egg. Let's see what's inside there. Oh, there are three pieces of silver. This reminds us that Judas would betray Jesus. He would lead the soldiers to where Jesus was so he could be arrested. Here's our next one. It's a light purple egg. Let's see what's inside. Oh, look here. It's a cup. And the cup reminds us that Jesus had a last supper with the disciples and they drank wine and ate bread and Jesus told them to remember that meal in the future. Here's an orange um, egg and let's see what's inside. Oh, look here. It's praying hands. And the praying hands remind us that Jesus took the disciples to the Garden of Gethsemane and they prayed on the night before on the night he was arrested. Here's a lime green egg. Oh, what's inside? Let's see. Oh, this is a really hard one, guys. This is a whip. The Bible says that when Jesus was arrested, he was whipped on the back 40 times. Here's a yellow one. Let's see what's in here. We open the yellow egg and find, oh, a rooster. The Bible tells us that Jesus told Peter that he would deny him. And when he denied him three times, the rooster would crow. And you know what? That's exactly what happened. Here's a, a light orange. Oh, this is another hard one, guys. It's a crown of thorns. The crown of thorns. They put a crown of thorns on Jesus before he was crucified. And the thorns went into his into his hair, into his head, and made him bleed. Here's a light green one. Let's, oh, this is a hard one too. This is in the shape of a cross, but it also looks like nails, and they nailed Jesus to the cross until he died. Oh my goodness, it's another hard one. The purple egg had a spear. And scripture tells us that to make sure Jesus was dead, that the guard stabbed him in his side. Hmm. Here's the light blue one. Now in this one, there is some cloth. And scripture says that after Jesus died, that friends of Jesus came and got his body and wrapped it in cloth. And then they took it to a tomb. Wonder what's in the pink one. This one's kind of heavy. Wonder what this could be. Oh, I remember now. It's a stone. The Bible says that when Jesus was put into the tomb, his dead body, that they rolled a really large stone across the entrance and left guards there so that no one could take his body away. Well, guys, that's 11 eggs, and we have one left. It's the white egg. Let's see what's inside. It's empty. Guys, the egg is empty. And do you know why? The egg is empty because the tomb is empty. Because Jesus isn't there. Because he is alive. Jesus is risen. And the white egg is my favorite because it reminds me that Easter celebrates that Jesus came back to life. Wow, you know what? I love resurrection eggs because when we open them, it helps me to remember all the parts of the story of Jesus and his resurrection. Well, guys, today we're going to do team time review a little bit different. Instead of doing 10 questions, we're only doing four. Only four. And you know what? I am confident that 
Everyone is going to get all four right today. All right, here we go. You ready? Question number one. The main idea says that blank, 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 right? So the main idea says that blank, 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 blank. Here are your possible choices, okay? Number, or letter A, God can do anything. B, Jesus can do anything. Or C, Christians can do anything. If you're having trouble remembering, you might remember your motions. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Got it? That's right, it's A, good job guys. All right, here we go, we've got three questions left. Number two, the Roman governor decided to allow Jesus to be crucified, which meant Jesus would be <clears throat> A, thrown into a fire, B, eaten by lions, C, killed by a giant, or D, nailed to a cross. Hmm. All of these answers come from the Bible, right? And all of these answers were a part of a Bible story, but which one is correct for, for Jesus, what we're talking about today? A, thrown into a fire, B, eaten by lions, C, killed by a giant, or D, nailed to a cross. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right. It's D, nailed to a cross. Well done, guys. All right, number three. Jesus was crucified, buried, and rose again on the blank day. On which day? Okay, so we have A, the second day, B, the third day, C, the fourth day, or D, the fifth day. Which day did Jesus raise back to life? On the second, the third, the fourth, or the fifth? All right, you got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right, guys. B, the third day. Well done. All right, so hopefully you've gotten three right already. This is our last question for today. It's question number four. It says, the Bible says that anyone who blank, blank Jesus will be saved and become part of God's family forever. I'm going to read that question one more time. The Bible says that anyone who blank, blank Jesus will be saved and become part of God's family forever. So, anyone who knows about Jesus or B, Anyone who thinks about Jesus? Or C, anyone who believes in Jesus? Or D, anyone who understands about Jesus? Now you might be saying, Pastor Eric, these are all kind of good answers, right? Oh well, yeah, they are. But we talked about one, right? We talked about John 3, 16 actually, and how important that was. So here are your possible answers. Someone who knows about Jesus, thinks about Jesus, believes in Jesus, or understands about Jesus. I'll give you five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right! It's C! Believes in Jesus! Guys, I hope you got all four. And I have enjoyed worshiping with you today. I hope you have a wonderful Easter with your family as we celebrate Jesus Christ. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful Sunday, and we will see you next week. Bye. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. One, two, three, Jesus is alive. He died for you and me. Jesus rose again, Jesus is alive One, two, three, Jesus is alive One, two, three, Jesus is alive He died for you and me, but on day three Jesus rose again, Jesus is alive God loved the world